going downtown, going downtown, going down, the down, the down, downtown. Get down. Tonight I'm going downtown, going downtown, going down, the down, the down, downtown. Get down, yeah. Tonight I'm going downtown, going downtown, I'm going down, the down, the down, downtown. Get down. Li tajjeb nilqakum għal edizzjoni oħra tal-programm Miswet fuq l-abjad. Matul il-programm tal-lum bħassol tal-programm naqas muħf zewġ partijiet, flu l-partij għandi intervista li nittama li s-sibuwa interessanti l-għalix miħaj fil-studio għal-lum għandi l-ambaxatriċi Amerikana għal-Malta ġina għal-Berkombi u Stanley li l-ambaxatriċi maħħa sejn kru għedin nitkelmu dwar suġġetti li għedin iġru fil-xena internazjonale naturalment u ma jistaxjon għos s-situazzjoni fil-Palestina u f-Gaza kifu koll s-situazzjoni fil-Libja u dal-aħħaru koll dak li seħ fil-inġident li seħ attak mil-lider u koll minnaħa russu Ukren. Pero, u koll sen kuljet nistaqsi li l-ambaxxat riċi duar l-impressjoni taħħa ta' pajizna issa li ila ħatala tlet snin ġewa pajizna. Imbat, fit-tini parti tal-program il-suġet nibluħ totalment u jikolli miħaj fil-studio li l-eks-ministru perit Michael Falzon li miħaw sen kuljet din nitkel mu koll duar il-situazzjoni politika f-pajizna u xkinet raġuni li l-lumi ġurnata reġa daħal fiħdan struttura tal-partijt nazjonalista madik iktar tard. Naturalment, matul din intervista flow il-parti taħħa sen kun jiet nitkellem għal-ambaxat riċi Amerikana bl-Ingliz. Il-mistoqsi jiet ikunu bl-Ingliz, il-risposti minn ħat al-ambaxat riċi ikunu u koll bl-Ingliz. Madam Ambassador, thank you for your time. Thank you for coming on a sweet fall, Abiyas. Lele time. And you also, yes, make your introductions in Maltis. That's what you did actually when you were appointed ambassador, when you presented your credentials to President George Abel, and he commented you about that as well. He did. He was very kind because I did have a little, a little mispronunciation, but he was very gracious about it. This is your third year, the beginning of your third year in 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 Malta. Why did you accept President Obama's? Uh, nomination to come to Malta in the first place. Sure. Well, to be an ambassador anywhere is absolutely the highest honor a diplomat can reach. To be the representative of your country, uh, it doesn't get any better than that. I've had a long interest in the region. My background is in the Middle East, and I've had some European experience. Uh, Malta is a particularly intriguing country for the United States. And when I was presented with the opportunity, I was instructed to go and work to improve and deepen our relationship with Malta. You've worked under different governments in mm. Malta. Um, you've worked under the Gonzi administration and now under the Muscat administration. What's your, what was your relationship with the Gonzi administration and with the current government? Well, I can say that the relationship with both has been excellent. Uh, we worked very closely, obviously, before I arrived uh, with the Gansi administration. It was something I was able to carry on and, and deepen. And that relationship has continued and, I hope, improved even uh, under the current administration. And it's something that we will continue to work to improve. Okay. And, um, uh, of course, um, now that you, this is your third year here yes. uh, in Malta, you have your impressions, more than your first impressions about Maltese society. Tell me about Maltese society. Oh, my goodness. Well, uh, very, very warm and gracious. I have to say I do a lot of walking around Malta. I think a lot of people have probably seen me. It's my way of discovering the country. And as I walk, people have been very welcoming. People say hello. I stop and have conversations with people. Um, a very natural interaction. I have, uh, unfortunately, enjoyed the food very much, which is why I have to walk so much uh, to make sure that uh, I don't get too fat while I'm here. Uh, the scenery is wonderful. I've had the opportunity to welcome a number of guests uh, from my family from the United States, both official and unofficial. And I think we're probably coming up to our 100th visitor uh, at the residence in the last two years. So uh, it's been a wonderful experience thus far. What would you say has been the greatest influence on your choice to go into diplomacy? My greatest influence? All right, don't laugh. Probably Star Trek. It is my favorite okay. television show from growing up. And one of the things that was a recurring theme was the importance of diplomacy in resolving issues. And even though they sometimes didn't resolve it diplomatically, that was always the aim. Um, that 
sense of inclusiveness that the show inspired at a time when civil rights was a very big issue in my own country was something that made me want to go out and be a representative and, and meet new people. How would you describe yourself? What type of person are you? I believe I am outgoing. I very much enjoy meeting new people. I like learning about people, and I think those are the things that make me a good diplomat. I am genuinely curious and respectful of others. Um, I have strong points of view and, and uh, don't mind sharing them, and I think good dialogue, good conversation is a way of opening gates, opening communication with other peoples, and again, having a peaceful interaction. You are at the forefront of civil rights. We've seen you campaigning even in Malta um, in favor of civil rights, mm -hmm. not least for, um, for, for, for gay people, but also for uh, migrants. And that is something which, um, for, for which you should be commended. However, you come and you represent a country mm -hmm. um, in which in certain states of the U United States of America, there is still the death penalty. Isn't that a bit ironic? And what's your view on the death penalty? Well, it's an issue that is hotly debated in the United States. If you follow it, you know that there are many Americans that campaign against the death penalty, uh, many Americans that feel strongly that it is effective and just and, and right, and people are passionate about the issue, and when something of life and death importance, I think that's right. I think people should be passionate about it. And it's something that is a continuing, evolving discussion, and you know, that changes and, and modifies, and it's something that the American people are going to have to come together to decide how we're going to go forward. Um, this administration, the American people in general, feel very strongly about human rights. Um, people interpret what is a human right differently based on their perspective. But we have very particular views, and as you say, LGBT rights as well as uh, rights for minorities, for women, equal opportunity, the ability to do your best uh, regardless of your race or religion or sexual orientation or disability. That is important, I think, to humanity, but certainly something that we fight for in the United States and try and change our laws to allow everybody to achieve the best they can. Migration is a very controversial issue anywhere in the world. Yeah. Only recently, President Obama expressed his administration's intention to return undocumented children back to Central yeah. America, for which he was criticized by human rights activists. Mm -hmm. Some said that this is not the America they know, that children should not be returned to war-torn countries or countries in which there is um, uh, a lot of conflict or famine. Mm -hmm. So uh, how do you reconcile President Obama's intention to return these children back to their country mm -hmm. with your very avid support for the right of migrants and children especially? Well, the rights of migrants, the rights of refugees to be protected is something that the United States does feel very strongly about. Um, as you know, it's the reason that we partner with Malta and we've taken over a um, thousand, I think, thirteen hundred refugees from Malta to the United States because we believe this is very important. Um, we also believe in the rule of law, and this is an issue, as you rightly point out, that is hotly debated once again in the United States. Those who are criticizing the president are Americans, not people from outside. Uh, it is an issue that has been taken up in our Congress. Again, it's something that's being debated, and I believe the House passed some legislation uh, just before they went on recess to address some aspects of the issue. But the law about what makes a refugee, what are the grounds for seeking asylum in the United States are very clear and specific, and if there's going to be something that uh, allow someone to stay in the United States, then it has to be presented under that law. Uh, each country has these, and we, as I said, we do believe in the rule of law. Um, obviously, if there is an immediate danger to people, that's something that representatives, lawyers that are pro bono, that are given to people who are making applications for asylum, they have the, the chance to make that case. But our laws require um, the president to make the decisions that he's made, and the Congress has the ability to change that. It, it, mm. it can always be modified. Libya is burning, and uh, only recently the uh, U.S. administration had to evacuate its personnel from yeah. Libya. 
um, we've heard recently also that the uh, U.S. Embassy in Libya is being transferred to, to Malta. Um, isn't it, however, this move to evacuate the personnel, the, the, the U.S. Um, personnel from uh, Libya, um, or away from Libya, out of Libya, an admission um, of the failure of the U.S. policy to have Plan B after, um, uh, after it managed to oust um, Colonel Gaddafi? Mm. No. Uh, in, in short, no, and then let me give you a bit longer answer. We are redeploying our, we don't use the word evacuation per se, but we're not drawing down. We are pulling our people out, we have pulled them out, and we are going to have them set up an external office here in Malta. The reason we have not you know, evacuated and shut our embassy is that we intend to go back as soon as it is safe to do so. Obviously, any government has the responsibility to protect its nationals as best as possible. The location of our embassy uh, was in between the fighters. We're very close to the airport and there were a lot of rounds falling in and around the embassy and for the safety of our people we needed to move them out of that location. Perhaps if the embassy had been placed somewhere else the uh, pullback would not have been done at that time but we have to keep them safe. By having them as close as possible to Libya, and of course, as you know, it's very quick to fly between Malta and Libya when it's possible to do so. By having them as close as possible, that will allow them to get back to Libya, Libya as quickly as possible. So that's the issue. With regard to the characterization of things as a failure or it's not working out as we hoped it would, any transition, and keep in mind that Libya was under dictatorship for 42 years, any transition has got to be viewed in the long term. Uh, it was always going to be difficult. I don't know if we expect it to be as difficult or even more difficult than what is happening mm. now. But keeping in mind that the core construct of what's going to bring success is still there, and that is the majority of Libyans want peace, want a democratic process, want a political process that works for them. The partners with Libya, the supporters, the international community are still absolutely standing with Libya. We intend to continue to engage with the Libyans, which is why I'm going to bring my our colleagues who are coming here. Mm -hmm. um, others in the international community, the EU, are absolutely remaining engaged with Libya. A statement was released today between Italy, Germany, France, UK, US about Libya, um, commending the Council of Representatives. They took up their work yesterday, they are meeting in Tobruk, they can't do it in Tripoli, but they're meeting. And it is a representation of the will of the Libyan people. They voted, what, three weeks ago? They voted for this Council of Representatives. That means they want to be represented and the, the political process to work. So we commended them for beginning their work. We need them to pull together to form a government that's representative and get back to the hard work of being bringing peace and stability to the Libyan What people. role uh, should Malta play in, uh, in, the, in the Libyan conflict? Well, uh, one of the things that makes Malta so very important, obviously, is the, the, its role in the Mediterranean, its long relationship and knowledge of Libya and North Africa in general. Uh, many of us in the international community, the United States absolutely, come and take counsel from mm -hmm. Malta because mm -hmm. you know the country very well indeed. Uh, every, and as part of the EU, EU, you have a role to play as well as your bilateral role. So bringing that knowledge, helping to guide, counsel the, the uh, international community is very important. The uh, Ukrainian-Russian mm. conflict. Only recently, unfortunately, you had um, that shocking um, incident of the, the aeroplane, which allegedly was shot down by uh, rebel fighters yeah. over, over, over the Ukraine. The international community, especially the European Union, has decided in favor of um, sanctions against, mm -hmm. against members of the Russian um, administration. Do you think, or don't you think, that um, sanctions at this point in time might be counterproductive? Um, I might ask you how so, but I will say that it is important to send a clear message to the Russians about the expectations of the international community, about 
our expectations that they follow through on the words that they have spoken to help bring the conflict in Ukraine to an end. This means that they have to stop sending weapons into Ukraine to the separatists, that they have to stop financing them, that uh, they should not be undertaking provocative actions like military maneuvers near the border of Ukraine. This simply raises tensions. The Russians have said repeatedly that they are calling for an international investigation into the shoot down of that plane and that they want a peaceful resolution to the conflict in Ukraine. We expect them to match those words to deeds. They have not done so, and so the international community has had to speak. And in this way, the sanctions are the, the, the tool that we're using. Um, we believe that they are having an effect. Um, certainly the Russian economy has grown weaker as a result of these sanctions, and they are not only against individuals, but against entities, including the financial sector, the arms sector, um, that are going to have an impact on the Russian economy. The market is, you know, reacting, has had time to react to this, and the, the costs to the Russian economy will continue to rise. Given the way that Russia is tightening the screws on civil um, liberties and even on the freedom of the press, mm. do you think that the Obama administration is doing enough to call President Putin out on human rights abuses in this case? I think we, I think we are, yes, in short. Um, as you know, with diplomatic communications, some of them are public and some of them are private, and, and the, the private ones tend to be even more to the point than the public ones. Uh, this is an, an issue that we have a long history with Russia with a number of countries because this is something that is a priority in the United States. Uh, we do our best to speak up, speak out, uh, show the way, and call ourselves on it when we need to call ourselves on it because nobody is perfect. We all make mistakes. So I think we are and I think we will continue to do so. Let's move to the Middle East. You served as a political officer in mm -hmm. the U.S. Embassy in Tel Aviv. I did. With I did, specific yeah. responsibility for the Gaza Strip. Yeah. Um, the Obama administration or members of the Obama or, or spokesperson for, spokespeople for the Obama administration have repeatedly said that Israel has a right to defend itself mm -hmm. from aggression from mm -hmm. the Israeli named the Hamas um, side. But is there any way that it can get too far um, in defending itself, Israel, because we've seen unfortunate cases of civilians, children, um, being killed by the Israeli, uh, by the Israeli army. Yeah. So where's the limit? And yeah. what is the Obama administration doing about all this? Well, we, like uh, the entire international community, have called on the Israelis to take their responsibilities that are required by international law to avoid civilian, civilian casualties, civilian deaths. Uh, we have heard the Israelis say that they do, and we would like them to adhere to their own high standard, and they hold themselves to a very high standard in this way. Uh, there have been several um, shellings of UNRWA, United Nations sites where civilians have been sheltering and this is a horrific tragedy. And we have been very direct privately and publicly that this is not the way to do it. We have uh, condemned strikes that have been hitting civilians. Uh, we have used the very strong words with regard to what we believe these are and that it's appalling, that it's uh, tragic, um, uh, disgraceful, because there are responsibilities to protect civilians. The United States has already pledged $47 million to help with the reconstruction of Gaza. Uh, it's something that we have long had a commitment to. I don't know if you know, but the United States is the single largest donor to refugees in the Gaza Strip and has been for many, many years. Um, well over $200 million a year for Palestinian refugees. And this is something that we will continue to do. As you know, Secretary Kerry has met with Prime Minister Netanyahu, with President Abbas, with the Qatari and Egyptian governments as well to try to bring about a ceasefire. Um, as you know, one is in place right now. Uh, God willing, it will hold. 
uh, giving the people of Gaza a chance to gather and return home and hopefully the negotiations during the ceasefire will be able to put it permanently in place. Tell me about your experience in Tel Aviv. What was it like? Uh, Tel Aviv it's similar to Malta as far as weather is concerned. Uh, the job I had was fascinating, living in Tel Aviv and covering the Gaza Strip. Uh, there were times when it was quite heartbreaking, depending on what happened, whether there were uh, bombs in Tel Aviv killing innocent civilians, um, when there was closure in the Gaza Strip that had a devastating impact on the economy, on people there. Uh, I had very good friends among Israelis, I had very good friends among Palestinians, and the hope that I left after three years working in the Gaza Strip and living in Tel Aviv is that there were large majorities on both sides and there are still who want peace. The United States is considered that it is the words, or one of the words, superpowers. However, it is seen or criticized to be quite ineffective in the Syrian conflict. Um, people or um, countries have expected the United States to intervene, if need be, on the ground in Syria to stop the atrocities that are happening um, over there. So far, the US administration has decided against intervening military and on mm -hmm. the ground in, in Syria. Mm -hmm. Does this um, represent a shift in the foreign policy of the United States? Um, a, a complete shift from the Bush administration, perhaps, where we've seen um, the U.S. government intervening military in, in, in conflicts. Okay. Around these. I, I think that shift took place well before the Syrian conflict. Uh, President Obama made very clear that the United States wanted to work in concert with the international community, that we were not trying to go alone to here, there, and trying to resolve problems on our own. Uh, certainly it's impossible, and, and he said just the other day, uh, United States is the world's superpower still, and people seem to forget, in spite of that, we do not control everything. And it is very important that the international community work together to resolve issues, because that's where you get long-lasting solutions. Um, the American people said we did not want to intervene in Syria on the ground. Uh, and the president, like the Congress, has a responsibility of reflecting the will of the people and, and leading the people. We work robustly with the Syrian opposition. We work with them to try and help them become a cohesive unit because the issues are not military. We do not believe there is a military solution to the problems in Syria. There must be a political solution. Like in so many of these conflicts around the world, and certainly in the Middle East, Military interaction is not going to resolve it. The same in, in Gaza. It's got to be a political solution. In Iraq, it's got to be a political solution. The United States for Syria, we've just increased the amount of assistance that we provide Syrians. Again, the United States is the single largest donor supporter of Syrian refugees in the world. In addition to the money that we give that goes to the Syrian opposition that feeds over four million Syrians funding from the United States that allows almost two million Sy Syrians to have access to hospitals and health centers that the United States supports. Um, in addition to that direct assistance, we also provide assistance to refugees that are in Jordan, in mm. Egypt, in Lebanon, and other countries, because these countries are burdened with a number of Syrian refugees. The United States provides funding to make sure that these people eat, can keep body and soul together. At the same time, we are working with our special envoy. In the past, it was Ambassador Ford. Now, it's Danny Rubenstein as our special envoy for Syrian affairs to work toward that political solution. And we work in concert with the international community. The U.S. government has been criticized vociferously, even um, not least in countries like Germany, for mm -hmm. um, um, monitoring um, their government's espionage. Mm -hmm. um, uh, is this what America some have questioned and asked, but is this what America is all about? Is it abusing its, its, its power? Is it, why is it monitoring um, the lives and the governments of, 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 other, of, of other countries? Yes. Perhaps not confined to other countries, but what I will say, 
uh, is that this is yet again I'm, a passionate discussion debate in the United States. And it, it's funny, you reminded me, it was one of the things with the uh, Iraq War, before it occurred, some of the largest demonstrations against it were in the United States. And this is freedom of expression and exchange of views. On this issue, we are debating it hotly in the United States. The president said there would be a review, uh, that we would be doing things differently than what we have done in the past, and what those parameters are, those barriers are, uh, are continuing to be worked out within the United States. But you will not find criticism of this issue any stronger outside of the United States than you will find inside the United States. What is most challenging about your job, that of an ambassador? I think for anyone who has the honor and privilege of leading people, it's, it's making sure that you are doing your best and bringing out their best. I have an amazing team of people working for me at the embassy, Maltese and American. They go out and do an exemplary job every single day, uh, whether it's supporting American citizens in Malta, whether it's ensuring that Maltese get the visas and, or, or business connections. We have a wonderful economic commercial section. Whether we're doing outreach with school programs, I've done a few personally. I have others in the embassy who do it, or bringing uh, U.S. cultural programs, or ensuring that Maltese get education exchanges in the United States, uh, the management people who make sure my beautiful embassy remains looking beautiful. These people are working at top capacity every day and and I have to make sure that they're able to do their jobs as well as possible and that I'm, I'm a good leader. So I feel that burden uh, very strongly and I think anybody who has the privilege of running an organization does. So that's my first thought and obviously keeping them safe. Um, the second thing, of course, is making sure that I have and U.S. diplomats have a good understanding of Maltese culture and politics because our job is to strengthen the bilateral relationship. And you've got to have a good understanding. It's one of the reasons why I took up the study of Maltese because it makes a real difference to know and understand the language when you're, when you're trying to communicate. So those are probably the two things. You are a very successful career diplomat. May I ask you, do you have any political ambitions? No. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> not. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Categorical. It's a very tough business, politics, a very tough business. And uh, the, the public stripping uh, that politicians take these days, they used, used to have more access to privacy in the old days, but. Uh, the way it goes and with social media, etc., um, I, I would never want to put myself in that position or my family. So I admire those who do because everyone is striving for the best possible country, the best for their, their citizens. But my efforts at public service are on a, a quieter side. Madam Ambassador, thank you for coming. Grazie. Thank you. Big Jane of it, Mim, Tanoel Party, that program is wet for a bit. Naturalment, I'm half Nick Tarsujet, till we had it Kellem Duarum, met a colloc for the studio, the Lambasha, Trichy, American and Malta, but all he knew what that illi or is as an amlo of Asira Hafna, in Batnet and Angelo Rakifatilcom, Sujet completament different, me of the studio, ex minister, nationalist Alperit, Michael Falzon, men out of the second year. Nil Tau. Going downtown, I'm going downtown, I'm going down, 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 il li bximot jerġajat il-kontributti għaw moderat fil-partit nazjonalista fiħedan struttura tal-partit nazjonalista u għallura u koll rappresentat fil-ezekutif tal-partit nazjonalista. Michael, grazie għafna li l-ajt nistadina taswet taswet fuq l-abjad. Jina, għalli ma nejt kon sorpriz, pero meta rajt laħbar il-li jinti iet fil-struttura ta' ġdida għaw fil-struttura ġdida tal-partit nazjonalista iġifiri 
ta' ex kandidati tal-partit, ta' deputati tal-partit nazjonalista, u issa għandek postok fl-ezekuttiv tal-partit, illi ta' limnienti, illi tkun fl-ezekuttiv tal-partit, u għed min l-olaro għani ta' partit politiku. Il-mistoqsija kienet, jawa, għajar il-reazzjoni tijek, kienet, xfettillu l-perit Michael Falzon, reġa s-sa l-volub dal-mot. Min jafni, naħsef jifim n-ni u l-esperienza tijaj kienet il-li wara li kont ministru, kont membru tal-parlament, il-messaċ mil-partijt, speċjalment jina bħajt, naħdem nejn fil-partijt iġifiri, anki wara. Pero, laħħar mil-elezzjoni ta' għabellaw, il-messaċ għalke mux in so many words, speċi, thank you very much, man nijibżonno, grazzi saħħu bonġu. Naturalment, il- il-tmeċxija prezenti xasset li għanda t-biddel ċerti jaffarijiet fost il-biddlet li għamlet s-sattaħal fil-esekuttiv fil-skużani fil-statut il-kulleċ tal-eks deputati u għanki eks uffiċi għali tal-partijt għali xe t-ikonoxi ġifiri li daw għandom xiatu xie kontribuxu t-ħajru unni insomma u spiċajt f-dalin fil-kumitat, viċi-prezidenta tal-kulleċ, u spiċajt anki fil-esekuttif, saħ, esekuttif mord darba, ġifiri, għas-taħt għal iwad, nisma daħx iwad, learning the ropes, veċi. Muġe, pero, inti muċi t-tip il-li xato għat bħal ekmalu, għax inti persuna il-li taza ekfom mokla fariet, tajdom t-tkelimu ċar f-dak li fil-ħsebijiet, fil-ħsebijiet t-tijak. Forsi dak u għafna nis, jifmuni min jifimni, pero forsi daka kienu kol xeħħġa illi fil-ħajja tijaj iktar xoloq li zvantaġi min li vantaġi, pero jina min jitwilet ton tijaj du ma jimuċ kuadru. Dal-programmi kunu t-segu għu l-ista opinjonit politiċi differente, pero uħa fuq l-istazzjoni tal-partit nazjonalista għal l-ura xaktarġi kuna miktar telespettaturi illi jumma supporters partitari tal-partit nazjonalista. L-istess nis, illi fil-konfront tijek, fil-ħames nil li għaddew, ma tanċ ħarsu bil-ħlewa. Lilek esuk bħala persuna li kont kritiku ħafna tal-administrazzjoni gonzi u kunem mikol min kini jakkuza, lilek anka publikament illi inti end biex il-partit laborista rabu ħala l-lezzjoni ġenerali li għaddi. Xti rispondi? Le, li jina kont kritiku ma ndix dubju. U fil- mux kritikajt kol ma għamet l-administrazzjoni gonzi. Ti forsi forsi, per eżempju kenem kas partikolari fil-mod kif kien jitkellem na fli jaxa ħħġa kontroversi għali Bil-mod kif Lorenz Gonzi kien jitkellem fuq il-problema tal-emigrazzjoni u fuq il-programma tal-emigranti afrikani jiena da ktipt anki illi l-unuku persuna li jgħamel mawr il-lid fil-pajjiz iġifiri s-qarrija morali għandu jisir u għandu jisir kien propju Gonzi iġifiri l-ħħġa li jgħasisfijiet ma kienu għamlu għamlu għawara iġifiri Mux kol ma kien jamel l-administrazzjoni kienet kontnajt kontra taħħa, sempliċi menta xamil l-administrazzjoni. Pero kritikajt għafna fariet u n-dispiaċidi najt il-li fafna min l-affert li kritikajt. Il-fatti taħu njena ġun. Issa, miċet najt li jena mfalli blita u ma mħin t-spalli, ma kritikajt xfej ma kellix. Ma naħseb il-maġor parti kbira ta' kritikajt jaj kienet 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 bazata fuq għafna raġunijiet il-li kienu validi. Mwa jissa, mbaħt argument li jina jent l-Labour Party biex jirbaħ l-elezzjoni, naħseb il-li din daċxej. Perceptions banijata, xina, jekk daċxej killing the messenger di l-istoria, jekk jina maħsan il-messaċ, isma, kif etta amlu, ħaj kolkom dizastru fl-elezzjoni, u mbaħti kolkom dizastru fl-elezzjoni, jina jent biex jissi dizastru, għax wissejt min għabel xin sejġri, di l-verita jina kien ħosni, issa miċat najt egejn li dejjem kelli raġun, pero naħseb il-li flaħfna fil-laffarit il-li kritikajti l-rizulta li kelli raġun. Mx relazzjoni kelli, ma l-Labour Party fl-oppozizjoni? Assolutament, mx jisimu ħafna, għifi relazzjoni assolutament ten u għak if najdu, għifi miċ ma għabda relazzjoni, għifi Joseph Muscat, int għajt mija u darba, muċ offiċjalment, għankun plant, kena mħabib tija għali, mħabib tija għali, t-tkelmu, għali, għamil t-tillu ċara bin from day one illi na nazjonalis kont u nazjonalis kont nipa, min kaj għajna na kritiku, għifiri għat ma tħaqt biħat li na għani ġimija kassolot na ment, għamil t-tillu ċara di. Umbaħt t-għajt mija u għudan, t-ramit jaj laqat uffiċjali, meta kont fil-grupp rikjunu għadin 
i militaw għad-divorzju, morna fiċjalment kemant dottor Gonzi kifjant dottor Muskat, meta kont fil-Malta Development Association, morna kemant Gonzi, uġiv mot uffiċjali, mux il-pqija jina fil-Labour Party, nafħafna nisa, għifiri ma jifissiċ li ma nintaħx maħħu u ma nkelli maħħu mxanzi. Pero ma għillebna relazzjoni għifiri li jina għadna ma jixi kumplot minta, ta' assolutament għifiri. Pero għaw ċerti mentalita illi sfortuna ta' ment dal-program u għa iswet fuq l-abjad imma għamħafna areas fej la' u iswet u la' aswa abjad. U jekk jiena nara il-parti t-tija għet jizbalja jiena għandi nuqot bħal imalu u ma najċ li għet jizbalja skont li ma' pozizjoni t-kun il-risposta t-tija jiena nafħafna deputati illi għadu bħal omalu u ma t-kelmuċ u ma t-kelmuċ jabblu ma kif kienu sejri l-affarijiet ħassew illi umma fil-pozizjoni taħħom bħala membri tal-parlament kien l-om ċertu obligu illi ma jidrux fil-publiku s-somma ċkien jisir fil-grupp parlamentari u fil-sikudi ma jħorġux fil-publiku u jitkelmu jajdu fej ma jabluċ jien fil-pozizjoni t-jaj fej kont li kont sempli ċi tesserat Maċina, tesserat kont, tesserat pajt. Kont iktar liberu, għalli ni kritika. U fil għamis nili għaldew pajt tesserat tal-partijt nazjonalista? Jina kont tesserat tal-omri u jina jien marteraj tal-a għas il-partijt marteraj. Marki, l-int l-lum jiat fil-ezekutif tal-partijt nazjonalista? Ta' jillix ma' għenna jilek darba mort u kjerin ezekutif għasir. Għifiri, għet nipprova nifem kif jahdem l-ezekutif tal-lum. Pero, pero. L-mux U differenti għafna, ġifiri għabell kien ikun hem naturalment jina l-esekutif nina fjina overshadowed bil-presenza ta' għedifene kadami u nis uħra ġifiri jina mdori bil-esekutif kien hem il-ċisimum il-heavyweight su, ġifi għvida di Marko, ċan su tabone u għu ġifi jimdori bil-esekutif kien hem nis ta' ċerta portata naturalment daka kien darba fil-istoria ta' pajizna li kumbat tela fil-gvern kabinet nis ta' ċerta portata ma naħseb il-li diffiċ li biex t-repetiru ma naħseb il-lu u għamu differenti kif jidmu kif jahdem l-sekutif ma ma nix nibda għam il-paragoni u l-qas ġudizzi il-paragoni u mod juzi u naturalment izmin u għa differenti in nis u ma differenti u għalura għedu nimxu b'mod differenti. Pero inti minti xie t-tip tabli jidem illa ħadu għaddel għedda bax s-saħħan s-sidġu jekk jiet f-struttura jekk jiet f-kumitati tal-kaz il-kumitati eżekutif bxi mot jew jħar inti s-et konettati il-kontributti jekk għan l-qasba opinjoni tijek tajf mifando mit menxu għahjar l-affarit issa inti t-ħalt f-izmin fejn il-partit nazjonal istaf titli xie mstej erm il-middisfant elettorali u kol ħat jati il-kontributi jgħu. Mela, l-u l-mistoqsi jafda s-sensi t-kun, xandu jimbedel fil-partit nazjonalista biex jgħi jibda triq, biex forsi jġi darba l-partit nazjonalista jgħi jkun il-partit fil-kvern. Naħseb k-ktib t-artiklu jint, xandu jimbedel. Mawnek jati nsaqsi l-mistoqsi jgħi. Ta fiktar min, jgħi k-ktib t-a, jgħi ma k-ktib t-iċ. Naħseb prej bħħat, u jgħarna bħħma da kliħat t-int. Inti semmejt il-kelma il-partiet nazjonalista grup ta' nis illi għedin fil-boċċi tal-kamla kena għedu l-om għabell umma um għedin jaħzbu kif konna naħzbu ma naħx kem nisa naħilu naħse pridu naħzbu b-mod kero differenti nif mustaċieta tal-lu għalli xċerti deċizjonijiet illi tijħdu kien jidarċar illi l-soċieta imbidlet ta' maġġida iktar mill-li realizza l-partit u l-ċisimu taħħa di l-ironija i l-soċieta, il-bidla fil-soċieta ħafna drabi kien il-partit nazjonalista l-istiga u ġid bil-politika u bil-deċizjoni taħħa partit nazjonalista fil-gvern li għamel bidla l-soċieta u mba t-tant imbidla l-soċieta il-li il-partit nazjonalista s-tess ma rafiex il-soċieta dina għtiġi li kol ħaċ dina għanki min tofġra lu ħaċa naturali li jinti kuntu t-il-bidla t-imbuħt tal-bidliet mbaħt il-bidliet ikollu mwans li t-tlaqo mil-bidliet il-konsegwenzi mwax kolla t-kun tafċinu kolla un-intended consequences kolla inkwa deċizjoni u naħsep il-li dini għan 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 għ
mod naturali, però naħseb un bat illi kienem zmien meta innis li kanatu meħxu nalqu bejnietu, no għal kiemeċ jati realizzaw, jati ġri barra. Kif sħalis li jatmeċi jata sajmen bozzuttin? Illum. Jatmeċi jati fiċli. Għalix sajmen ta jepjo għazin jena najt sfortunatament flaħħar parti tal-legislatura spiċa fiċi kaf u untuza għannu zan kjan mantuza fil-kampanja elettorali għal ħati ftakari poster sajn minu Lorenz għandu u għallura u għd-defenda dak li kjene t-sir u għsa u d-der bħala speċi il-pass li mis il-kontinuita għaj zomma sajmi bħuzuttit. U għissa li tila pil-karta li jgħu mu għiex il-kontinuita u għa il-li dar il-ġdid. Din il-difikulta il-li għandu sajmi bħuzuttit. Pero l-intenzjoni għati għaw naħseb il-li jgħu ma memx xwiħet jgħajt kontra taħħom u naħseb il-li u għandu għandu bħtxa xoħl diffiċi li s-sema għabiex jgħarġa jibli dak li jenħat, pero jgħina għatlu għabel ma tħal fresi kutti, għu t-kol jekki t-trit jira l-es biċ nejn e kum fatti fil-kampanja tal-elezzjoni tal-parlament kienu stinnu n-darbtej biċ n-tkellem speċi u t-kellim. Kien n-sajmi bħuzotti li li approċi għak biċ taħt l-ajnu nati għak l-partiet jaw kien kontent i bendraj kien l-amortu għasajmi bħuzotti? Ma naħseb il-li ġib si t-nej ġifri jina sajmi bħuzotti l-morti n-kellmu għabel ma sajr fi ċikab. Morti n-kellmu għara l-elezzjoni. Kellimtu għat il-kampanja elettorali. Kelli kontatti mux uffiċiali, kontatti kontatti jek. U naħseb il-li muħat għatlu jina jina l-es biex nejn u kien l-es biex jil għal il-kull ħat. U naħseb muħat min l-izbali li jisir u il-li Nħarsu li jimmin tela resa l-dbijet mil-partijt mwajn ħazina. Jiena minix wieħed, jiena għajtajem jaħzbu, jiena il-partijt il-futajt, għax jiena kontaħt l-ultajm, jiena tlu kiku jien il-raġuna b-moħħi bis, jien ma nil-futaluċ il-partijt nazjonalista. Tu barra jiena għandi brabtijt emozjonali, jien impossibli. La qas n-imbaġinani għa possibli, għattu jien għan vota, mux b-moħħi b-qalbi għan vota għal il-partijt nazjonalista fil-ħħar elezzjoni. Pero kien jem nies il-li vota b-moħħom. U daw li vota u għissa ta jep juħazi. Ma n-istawx il-partijt iti jom tort, jisker raħom u ximina itara partijtari għifim, nifim għom tajin il-li jħobbu l-partijt u l-dawk il-li jafu il-li dbedu m-partijt u l-dawk il-li jafu il-li dbedu m-partijt Għadom jħduom fuq dem mid-dars, għadom jħduom jimbuttawom. Ma naħseb il-li irdu jifmu, il-li biex jimxi l-quddim u jarġa jarbaħ il-maġoranza l-parti, naħsasja għandu bżon, ħafna minn dawk li jow vutaw l-Labour Party, jow ħafna minn dawk li ma vutaw, għax jena naħseb kien jem numru kbir na nazjonalisti li id-deċidu għal ma jivutaw. Għandu tri għattella l-Partiet Nazjonalista, meda għisli li fadal l-Partiet Nazjonalista dhe għattella, ta' għattorot jgħu kienu. Għatt ma kello għannizla, kello għannizla ma kienet the wrong one. Eġi fri l-Partiet Nazjonalista, għara li tilef l-elezzjoni u tala minto fil-71, kello tri għbira għattella. Għalla fuħlja id-distak ta' vote ma kienġi għbir, da kien zmien bħal ma għullu, xorta kienet tri għattella enormi u għat ma kieni uħlom għal li tiġri, ġifiri ma ullum naħseb il-poplu il-mentalita ġdida tan-nies jali mix marbuti mal, mux marbut mal, 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 dal parti tijaj, għun il-votalu jiġri xiġri kam għot me, fim, this is my party, no arti, my party, wrong, right or wrong, ma naħseb xilli, naħseb dawk la monti ta' nies, jonsu, u n-nis li għajdu forsi raġunaw isma kene mbzun fil-ċirkostanzi li l-partiet għasso jistajmu l-flopozizjoni u l-lum jiraġunaw, mux neċessjonalment l-lum għaj jaslu biex jiraġunaw u kol, eventualment, isma mbzun l-Labour Party flopozizjoni. Michael, ma... Da għaj ġaj ġiri ġifiri, id-dinja rota ċiklu ġifiri. Malta tan-alkol kienet lajta tal-Labour Party għabell l-elezzjoni ġenerali, 
imbijet ta' jebħa f'nawr parti t-laborista għal diversi fatturi na najtan kaċ kienu wasa l-zmilli kuna u bidla fil-pajis rebaħ l-elezzjoni b-36,000. Jemu xin bijet ta' jebħa f-na? It-strak akord għifiri d-dink imbijet ta' jebħa f-na għetajt kemmu bravo dak li għeti bieħ. Imma jenaħ seb il-li li ġarawu il-li kien jem nis il-li kienu għetu ħassu għu maqtu għajn il-li jimu ma muċa t-tip parti ċipaw u s-fornta na tament kien jem ħafna nis nazjonalisti li kienu t-ħassu għu għu Pero Malta tal-alkol. Saħalli għali Malta tal-alkol. Pero Malta tal-alkol. Kif slogan u l-lum iġifir daċċaj differenti. Infatti iġi konġi għal-mistosja tijġ. Bi Malta tal-alkol taħbe l-elezzjoni ġenerali. U Malta tal-alkol l-lum. U Malta tal-alkol l-lum. Kema f-veratu għadik la fil-pratika? Kif? Le daċċaj differenti. Jina dijem kont najt. Abbe l-elezzjoni għatta. U għatta għara u naġanib għanajda. Illi l-ikbar problem Il-tagovor bejn il-zoġ fazzjoni jitli tellaw, da bix kellu l-maġġoranza, kellu l-vot, bix kiseb dikin l-maġġoranza, kellu l-vot tal-partit tradizjonalment laburista. Daw kli jiridu l-ġob mal-gvern, daw kli jiridu l-post tal-gvern mxej, daw kli jiridu għek, aċaħna tal-partit, u daw kli jaxsbu li aċuma tal-partit, jit jom dritt, li jihtu xaħħġa min l-istat li mandom ġit talija, u... Sezzjoni joħra li jja kienet middle class illi kienet normalment tivvota il-partiet nazjonalista il-deċidiet li il-partiet nazjonalista il-timur fl-oppozizjoni il-votat il-Labour Party jo mu votaċ u daw assolutament ma jaqblu xej ma di teorija ma di ma di la mentalita għu l-attitudni tal-affarijiet ta' sezzjoni joħra issa kif daw t-nejb Xie mwa ta' minnu moviment u tellaw. Mista bixie meħxie da' se kollu detenzjoni inħin kollu bejdaw il-żoċ factions. U għissa għetti 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 għemmu kapaċi u għegħin għanki għaw naħseb il-li l-partijet nazjonista għamen underestimation tal kapeċta jetta Joseph Muskar. Naħseb għazbu li ma realizzaċ il-li mux għalkem jidda superficiali, mux da' stan superficiali. U għissa għessa kapaċi da' għajja kjir neħxie l-uġ da' il-żoċ factions li ma jirraġonaw xa s-solutament bxej, bħal xuxin, jien irrit n-independim il-gvern n-nen state. U li jħor jajli li għgvern, jien għgvern jajtem biċi regolar fajit, ħalli l-linna naħtmu, ħalli n-imxi ma jħoċin daħ l-linna, fħim, li s-solutament t-ġifri mentalita kompletament diferent. Kjam sejrna, xiru daw z-żoċ factions, għajuzu għom biċ jitella l-ilu fil-gvern, fħim? Għal ma' l-partijet nazjonalista kjellu l-faxin ta' għana għdlum għak demokristjani n-verdet kommesu, ma' għana għdlum għak li kienu nisi li għandlum il-prinċipi tal-knisja, eċ. U nisi uħna għin l-di ma' kjellu għdlum il-prinċipi, nisi li bera għali, pero kjellu għdlum 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 għ ġifiri dawk il-nis fin-nofs li sara om muskat il-ridu naħdmu biex jarġaw iġulura. Maikil, wahda min deġizjenit piuttost kontroversija li li donnu beħsi biħu dan il-gverni għali postponi n-elezzjonijiet tal-kunsil li-lokali issa għaw min jajtu koll biex n-kunu għedna kollux. Ille għu malta għus politika, għanna għus kampanja sena għara sena kwaz il-popri tiħu raġi fwata kol sena ila liċ ma' dawn ma jisru ġdarba kol ħames nien ma' elezzjonijiet uħra jiex jam ħazin daq sejk fija xin il-opinjoni tiħu? Jiena naħseb kħib ta' artiklu fuq għu fit-tiħu L-Amerikan ki għax-xerif t-vvota, u da' Amerika t-vvota għallem ħallef, u għax-xerif, u għal-ħed master, u għal-kollo, xu għal-fire chief, iġi firi muferu xej il-li f-Malta għanna għafna l-Azzjonijiet. Malta, għanzi, għat ma kenna espressjoni iktar tal-demokrazija, meta għaxa għabel ma minna konsili lokali, ħli f-darba għal ħamisni ma kenna xa l-Azzjon. Iġi firi dira għali u tal-elektor fadik jira naħseb il-li ikun zbal, jekk ċaqla għom daw u jneħjom iktar u iktar jekk ma jkun xiem konsensus nazjonal. Jina miċet najt illi il-pattern kif jinnu il-lum sentej u sentej u l-elezzjoni ġenerali u ma klietu kazzjoni differenti u jħat ma jistax jaħsef soluzzjoni jieto. Hra jma jekk nassu fiftejmi tukun jem konsens nazjonali minn partijt l-oppozizjoni u jinnaj tanki partijt il-lum xu l-oppozizjoni u għankir konsili lokali jinni fizzom. Jma zgur li mux sew illi jiena tlajt sint kujo konsillir għal erba snin 
u il-Prim Ministru wahdu jiddeċidi isma' u xerba snin u għater buħra u għu kli toħra għamel sema na għzgur li u għandu xekun iġifiri u naħseb il-lum u kol il-Labour Party għeti realizza naħseb il-li kien għu opinjoni negattiva għafna għal-mod kif għet il-sit kif jaw kif ġit proposta l-sit għana għindu għaj Inti fil-bidu tal-program semmijt il-li kont għattif kif kol ħatija fil-movument iva divorzju ma ta kien għu il-referendum dwar il-divorzju il-lum għafna għu t-ħajn sajt jirrealizza għu l-pozizjoni li kien għal partiet nazjonista ta' kizmi jen kienet għamnet l-ħsara jen kif t-artiklu lej li l-esekutif kien għaj hud deċizjoni għatt li 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 kudif mandux iħu deċizjoni li huwa konta d-divorzi u għatt illi għaltrimenti fejkun lu mell dawn il-partijt ktib ta' għabel għalura jink ktib għabel ma nesikuti fħa deċizjoni li jikun kontra d-divorzi illi dik deċizjoni tista t-wassal għal mell dawn tal-partijt profeta sfortuna ta' għamet għajjar ma konċ profeta Għetti tijin il-pressjoni li għabel inti fil-ħames nili għaddew il-mod ta' kif tuwassar il-messaċ jek kien biss il-media, kien biss il-gazzetti u b-meta kontiċ mistidem fuq stazzjonijiet ta' televiġin. Mentri l-lum donno kien li ġejt mistidem biġ dil-kritika ta' għamla u koll internament. Jek, 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 naħseb jista jkun il-li wieħet jista jħarres li jabda l-mod ta' ħa, naħseb il-li u tkun ħaġa ta' jibad jkun jem kritika internament. Xtaħseb jkallu jammel differenti, jaw xtaħseb jkallu dawk id-deċizjonijiet il-li ħal partit nazjonista matur d-dissena li għaddit mil-meta telefle l-lezzjoni sallum il-li kieku aħjar maħadom ġejn, tijin iftit eżembi. Naħseb il-li bdejna nirreja ġixu kwazi b-mot isteriku kunu ma jammel il-gvern ħazin inwers u dak għandu jirrezenja loħ għandu jirrezenja kont kip fuqaw koll di politics of isterik ma jistax jiku nuqodun għajdu dak li bħan ma kienu ġrala min Labour Party fizmin fuq korruzzjoni kol ħadja ta xej korruzzjoni 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 għad għal ta' l-lupo di għam zajdu ma jaddu korruzzjoni għad ma jaddi kasu matma ta' diġi korruzzjoni veru għan tux kasu għamun kol u di li stess, da kandu jirrezenja, da kandu jirrezenja, da kandu jirrezenja, di li flowe ftit xur ta' dal gver, ma naf xal kam jirrezenja ta' lab, il-partijet nazjonista, ki iddi l-wixja, il-li... Immaġi xe t-tajt, immaġi xe t-tajt, tini ftit eżenja, xperezen ju... U l-kommissari ta' l-polizija, ma naf kam il-wixet, kik għalla xe t-rezenja, kol darbre kena kommissari, kik għalla xe t-rezenja, kol darbre kena kommissari, kik għalla xe t-rezenja, anki ministri kallam jirrezenjaw għafna drabi fuq ċerti deċizjonijiet skonti l-kelli matana naħsab il-li kien daq xej kien daq xej isteriku u kien umbat inti il-dana il-reazzjoni fil-publiku barra għafna drabi kena jajdu s-sada u jati t-kelmu da sa għawa greb saċ mux għedina muma fiem t-ġifiri naturalment jista jku li ċerta kritika u ċerta deċizjonijiet il-kor tol il-moral tal-alba tal-partitarja nazjonalista u jihdu gos bċerta kritika ħarxa u bċerta agressivita pero at the end of the day dik ma ta salx bix tijbet il-dawk il-li tal-uk jo il-dawk li tijbet bix terba hħedma għġaranza għana darba darba zminilu konna t-tkelmu fizmin konna fl-oppozizjoni għabel marbaħna l-elezzjoni u kienem bxi esekutif jaf xi grup parlamentar u kienem bxaħat minna għal għal di namlu ta' xtaf kem jihdu gos jih namluwa il-partitari ta' għana veru jihdu gos bija min naħtlus maħna ma naħna għedni fin negozi ta' l-prostituzzjoni mu xekħta ta' ktar pastazza xiħna ta' fkif nit kellne għata xarres leja għatlu għax daw ka jamlu l-affari ta' l-gos min naħna namlu aħna namlu policies jo namlu s-għarriet jo namlu deċizjoniet bix natu gos l-partitari ta' għana Dak huwa zbaljat, jekk dak l-skop, l-skop huwa bix. Lo ħħġa turi xin l-politika tija, kota tira l-mimuċ parti ta' għu tija, għu bix iġi reċ. Ette fem xin naħis, samarri xin naħk laqqas, illi fil-medijat għara l-elezzjoni ġenerali, l-parti ta' l-elezzjoni s-ta kellu bżon, fil-lib kellu bżon iġi entuzjazmat jarġa, iġi fili jista għun li dawk l-affarit għenu għad dak l-skop. Fil-minnaħa l-partijet nazjonalista ma ta' l-partijet għalju tradizjonali li baqa 
في دي لاير بارتيت ما تقتلوش قلبه وتقولوا قلبه من نحن نحن ما تيش دي دراسة جرات اللي انتي استيركو ايات كل ما يعمل الجفن كله شهازين اتفهم ادي في ليتا بيتو في بالانسين جيم تسكلو دي الريتور انتيك في البوليتيكا بخالة كانديدات لا اصولو تامنتو هنا هنا على ديسا وستين الجماد دي احنا دي في لي Assolutamente, una decisione di realtà, ma assolutamente finita. Ho anche il vantaggio, forse, non è tutto il vantaggio lì, non è che le mani, non è che le scelte in agenda, non è che le scelte in interesse personale, non è che le scelte in agenda, non è che le scelte in giornata, assolutamente, non è che le scelte in agenda, non è che le scelte in agenda, vero, è che le scelte in agenda, ovviamente, oggettivamente. Moħħi fil-limitazzjoni tijaj, xin mat fil-dinja xin mu oġetti, fix kola tandu l-baħi zistijaw. Imma muċ aċan di xie hedin aġenda, u għax jirrit nil-ħaqa, u għax jirrit nil-murem. Ma rrit nil-ħaq xie, ma rrit nil-sir xie. Fero jek nista nati ideħat, u jek nista nati mbottatura, l-est biċin tijaj. Marki l-falzo, għan graċa għafna. Bek ġejna fit mim tal-program Misbet Fuq Labijat tal-Lum. Graċi lil-kom metta respettaturi ta' dan il-program, graċi lil-Vigo muħet min l-sponsors ta' dan il-program, graċi u koll il-Kru ta' Net Television, l-appuntamenti għal-Makom u għa għal-ġumal diħla fl-istess ħin, jiġifiri n-dan l-erba fit minja u nofs ta' fil-ħaxija. Graċi għafna u l-lejl il-tajjab l-kul ħaf t-nsel min-kom. Downtown, going down, the 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 down